Hello, my name is Will Fry, and today I'm going to be talking to you about game-based learning and some integrity. To start off, game-based learning is on the rise. Schools everywhere are now starting to use game-based learning. It's a new innovation just brought, and it's really good for kids nowadays because they get away from a pen and a piece of paper and a gigantic lecture from their teacher, which usually kids think is very boring, and they fall asleep or doodle during this lecture. But now, during game-based learning, you get away from all that, and kids finally get a chance to like what they're learning, and it makes it fun for them. According to the Horizon Report, it says that kids learn information much better when it's incorporated into a game. Also, it has shown that kids absorb information more and remember it and get a whole lot more out of it when they actually are interested in the game or activity they're playing to go along with the research and stuff they have studied in class over the past few weeks. This is very important because lots of times kids will sit there and listen to the lecture or whatever is being taught and it would go in one ear and out the other. They wouldn't absorb the information or attain it. It would just be a quick thought that they might have to go along with game-based learning, integrity is involved a little bit. Integrity is pretty much being a leader and doing what you want to do no matter what other th others think of you. Integrity goes along with game-based learning good because there always needs to be a leader or a spokesperson in each group. And with game-based learning, you're usually working a team and that person with integrity can really get the group together and uh, combine all their answers and come up with one and be the spokesperson and kind of take charge and be the leader and make sure everything's organized and be a good team player. Well, uh, from my basic knowledge on uh, game-based learning, I feel like it's, uh, you know, it really helps us out in the uh, school environment. You know, it kind of gets us away from the typical just pen and piece of paper, you know, getting out of the books and stuff, you know, I feel like I can concentrate a lot more on like a game, you know, it's a different type of learning of course. And I just feel like I, my concentration level is a lot higher when I do something like that because it's something I'm partially interested in. I think it'll really take off in the next few years as like more schools in our environment start using it, like the bigger schools and like District 186, you know, a lot more schools do that and I mean everybody learns a different way and it could really help our education programs educational games so instead of parents having to do flashcards with their kids they'll put the flashcards on the um, the iPod touch and then uh, the what's your opinion on game-based learning I think that this generation is very wired into gaming and there's a lot of potential for um, good games for teaching and if you look at it like on the iPod touch and the iPad some of the biggest growth has been the uh, kids will play the um, play the games and that sort of thing and learning. The thing we have to be careful about is making sure that it's not uh, just the same old type thing. So a lot of the games aren't quite interactive enough and it could also be combined with learning analytics to really understand what students know and what they don't. So instead of having to work 10 math problems that you already know, maybe it would be smart and you might work one math problem or maybe two and once it knows you know how to do it, it would take you into something that you don't know how to do and so instead of having to do a lot of things you know how to do you would prove that you know something and then maybe um, spend more time on the things that you really need to uh, need to learn in a fun gaming type environment in conclusion game-based learning is very good in very many ways it really is a different type of learning for all kids that from what I've heard, they tend to enjoy. All in all, it is on the rise, and I definitely think we should see a lot more game-based learning in today's schools and education.